Hello, this is Frontline here, and we are back on the super amazing world we got going on. Now, at the end of the last episode, we discussed reconstruction plans, and in this episode, we will be taking care of a few of those different projects, if not all of them. I mean, I'm hoping to do all of them, but more than likely, we'll have to split this up into two episodes. But our first task of the day is this one that's in my hotbar right now, and it is to destroy this old villager breeder right here. Now, this thing was built to make the iron farm I have over there. You can't really see it that way. You can, you can kind of see it. You can see all the water there, you know. It's like, it's a nice little iron farm. Produces uh, large quantities of iron for me. It's no iron titan, but it's uh, definitely good enough for my needs. But anyway, we are going to destroy all of this because it is actually too close to the iron farm to even be usable at the moment. I moved all the villagers out of here, and now it's just this complete mess. So I brought my silkworm pickaxe right here because it is comprised mostly of glass. I don't want to waste all this glass, so we will just be picking at it and see where we end up at. So I was going to do a time lapse of me doing all of that, but once it came down to it, the uh, footage I got was very boring. It was basically just me breaking a bunch of glass. But anyway, we were able to fill in all that area. Now it looks much nicer. The grass has uh, been able to spread, and we actually got quite a bit of glass from that endeavor. Although it doesn't really look like that much glass, it's a lot of uh, glass to mine out, especially with a pickaxe that does not actually mine the blocks faster, may I add. All it does is just make it, which is to get ourselves a pet chicken. Although that's not actually what we're going to do. We actually need to create a bear iron farm AFK space that is over there so that we do not have to be inside of like a dirt or random wood hole that I uh, created over there. And uh, I was actually going to burn the little paper that we had to clear out the old villager beer, but I actually misplaced it, so I guess we're not going to be doing that right now. We have worked our way over to the iron farm over here that has our nice little villagers all penned up, and I even had the idea of having glass here so that you're able to see all of them just uh, getting to know each other. But right now we are more focused on the underside because right now we need a lot better of an AFK space. Basically, whenever I want to go and like uh, AFK at the iron farm, I just go right into the space. I put a couple of dark oak planks right there and then I just grab whatever iron is down here uh, once I'm done. But that is not the best thing. And as you actually saw, there are like random poppies that uh, just stack up here. And already I kind of want to have a filter that like makes those go to a different place. So I also brought some redstone materials, got nether quartz in case I need comparators, which I will. And I got no stack blocks. I've got pretty much really all that I need. I have got also a bunch of iron to make it actually themed like it's an iron farm. And some glass so that, you know, maybe you could see outside and actually make sure that there's no mobs whenever you uh, exit. But anyway, we are going to start building that now and see what we actually come up with. We have mined and also placed some blocks here. We uh, have a little bit more of a uh, sorter here that will allow us to work better with this uh, iron farm. Now, the whole entire idea is that this iron sorter right here will be able to pick up the different poppies that go down and anything that isn't a poppy, which basically in this farm is iron, there's nothing else that would drop. It'll just end up in uh, this area here, which will lead off to some more chests. So if I put down 20 iron that maybe like an iron golem just like fell down or something is taking some damage and all that, it should end up all right here. And then if we take our 20 poppies and put them there, they'll be sorted right through here and go into this dispenser, the clock will keep running and it will actually burn all of the poppies down. Now I actually picked up some of them just because I was standing so close to it. But really there's going to be a block here, I don't have any blocks, but like if you were just to place down a thing of dirt here, it's like that would burn automatically, everything would be alright, and this whole entire system would end up working. So 
that's the whole entire idea of that and now we just got to build up ourselves a nice little space that we're actually able to roam around and wait while we go and have iron be productive for us. The redstone has been covered up a little bit more and also slightly exposed but the result of the little bit of progress we made here is this and I honestly really like the look of the exposed redstone having all the iron blocks there. I mean, I will admit that maybe I went a little bit overkill on the iron blocks, but I like it. I think that this actually looks pretty good, and it makes it so that the redstone has more of a pristine, luxurious look to it. I mean, it is redstone, but you know, that I feel like that look definitely qualifies it. And th This just looks nice. Th I'm, I'm just going to have it be like this, and I'm going to figure out what I'm going to have surrounding it because right now I'm pretty sure we're not going to have grass here. Really the whole entire point of the AFK space is so that I can actually stand here without getting blown up or shot or eaten by zombies or really anything. So we're going to build that structure right about now. A lot of time has passed since the last clip and we have actually finished off what the uh, AFK space is going to look like so big reveal right now oh my this is quite awesome I really like the look of it it really blends in with the ground it's like I might like tidy up the edges another time but right now I really like the look of this thing I've got a nice little iron door so that even zombies actually aren't able to get through here because they are able to burst through the uh, wooden doors I am on hard mode and we got a nice little space here. I got checkered pattern uh, on the floor with these redstone lamps. And the redstone lamps are all powered and it lights up the area. It, honestly, it just looks overall nice. And I've got windows all around so that you can see outward. Also, you might have also noticed that my chests and storage supplies were right on this hill here. But as you can see, there's just no hill. I got rid of it. I uh, uh, took my shovel and also picked my pickaxe at times, uh, replaced it all with dirt, grew some grass, and terraformed a little bit, and made it so that you have a little bit of a nicer view out the back here, just as you do in some of the other places. I mean, these two sides, like, facing where my house is, it's uh, kind of a cliff, and over here is also kind of a cliff, but eh. Who wants to look that way anyway when you can look at these beautiful views? So now we've got a nice little AFK space. We even have a working little piece of redstone so that uh, only iron can go into this and we'll be able to have a crafting table right here, get our nice little blocks of iron for whenever we want to build out of these things again. We are back in the reconstruction building with our nice little chicken friend we just made in this episode. And we are here to actually burn the better iron farm AFK space paper as we weren't able to do last time. I still don't know where I put that paper. I had to have like uh, placed it in a chest somewhere. But I actually already grabbed a new piece of paper and we are going to finish the nether basement because that is something that I actually wanted to do for quite a while and even have a chest down there of materials for. And yeah, we will be able to design it all to look just like the nether does. This chest right here has all of the various different parts that I want to put into this nether room. And we might need to grab more netherrack. I actually never measured out this room. But uh, good news is, if we ever need more materials, uh, we have a nether portal literally right there. So we've got uh, netherrack, we've got the nether brick just uh, for building a mock nether fortress. We're also got nether quartz ore, just because I think that would make it a little bit more realistic. And some glowstone, soul sand, you know, all the nice little goodness that you would find in the nether. So, let us actually start placing some blocks. During this little reconstruction of the nether basement, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to start talking about the next Minecraft update, which uh, actually is going to air the day after the video is going to be released for this. 
I am actually recording this on the 2nd of October, and the 4th of October is going to be when the update comes out, and it is going to include different 1.10 features on the from the PC edition, as well as uh, I think like uh, some 1.9 things such as the uh, Frostwalker enchantment and mending, and honestly I'm really excited for that. It's like. It kind of makes me sad that I didn't have my world uh, made, or like that I made my world before the update actually happened. But the thing is, really, I still have a lot of world to explore. I've kind of only been on one map for the whole entire time, so I'll be able to do it later in the series. But one thing that I was actually uh, wanting to talk about was the fact that the 1.9 combat mechanics and everything that people were awaiting for when the update was announced was uh, like that it's actually not going to be part of the update and that's really interesting because uh, it's the part that well makes 1.9 1.9 but honestly it's not too bad of a decision if they release all of those features in December because if they release that in December, I'm not going to be at all upset. I'm just going to say, well, we got some of the features early, and we're going to get a lot more features later, and that is completely fine. But if it does not happen, well, they are really just trying to delay what is the inevitable, that is uh, the backlash that will come from the new combat mechanics. And... Uh, I think that Battle Minigame will be the primary source of this. I don't even know why they created the Battle Minigame before the mechanics were released, because honestly it would only make sense to release it after everything has changed instead of introduce Battle Minigame and then make people transition to the new way the game is played right after they've mastered the whole entire thing. like made sure that they are collecting the chests appropriately, like changing their strategy, going and memorizing how the maps work. and It's just very odd to me, but yeah, we'll see how the year plays out by the end of it all. Hopefully we'll have answers to how everything is actually going to go. But yeah, that was really all I wanted to talk about during this uh, little time-lapse session, so let us go back to the super amazing world and actually build some more things. Hopefully you enjoyed that little time-lapse chat that we had there and talking about all sorts of things that are coming in the future of Minecraft, but now let us just return to the present of Minecraft, and that is this basement. Now, honestly, this place seemed a lot bigger when nothing was in it, but like adding the small nether fortress thing and the glowstone and all that, I will admit that it's a little bit cramped, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's not like we're going to be uh, spending our time in here, like uh, doing all sorts of uh, magic, but nah, it's, yeah, it's, it's cramped. I don't know. I might fix it later, but for now, I'm just going to consider that done, and we will move on to... Our two last things we are going to do in reconstruction today, and that is to create a storage system and second story to house. And both of these go hand in hand, because really, the second story of the house will allow me to not have my bedroom in the downstairs and move upstairs, and I'll be able to maybe have my storage system where the balcony is. I'm not sure. I'm just going to have to create some floor plans and work with all that. But at the moment, let us just... Uh, throw away our little nether basement thing and call that done. You want to see the second story to the house? You really want to see the second story? Well, here it is right here. And I really like it. Honestly, it's like it's kind of anticlimactic. All this is just the same pattern at the top, but you know, it honestly adds to the house. I think that it looks a lot better now that it's actually bigger. It's not a tiny little uh, one-story uh, building anymore. So now we just got to move around all of our chests and stuff because at the top here we actually have a little system where we're going to have different chests. This part here is also going to be filled in more. It's just that I have like chests downstairs and didn't want to craft more than I needed to. 
So we've got a nice little section for cobblestone. We've already been moving some of the uh, different objects around, so it's like that's the reason why my inventory is actually blank right now, just so that I'd be able to go about my business without having a bunch of items. But yeah, we are going to continue that and hopefully we will be able to move on to doing our bedroom as well. If I don't keep breaking torches. When moving around all of the stuff like uh, to the storage system up there, I finally found the destroy old villager breeder piece of paper. So now we can actually uh, do that now. Chicken, don't go into the lava. I'm just going to push you back into the corner here. Boom. Now that is done. We have moved all of the items and things all up here. And now we also have a nice little storage system that is all sorted. So here is a whole entire thing for cobblestone. We got the different andesite, granite, and diorite type of things right here. We got gravel, dirt, um, like armor things that drop from mobs, bows, and also weapons bones and things because my skeleton farm is like my most popular farm to use unfortunately with the current uh, version of the game that doesn't work but hopefully that will get running again we got nether things like treasure things right here like the name tags and saddles and things these are just mob drops we got like uh, this is just a chest for seeds because uh, I actually want to build a bigger farm at some point and I have stored up all these seeds just in anticipation for that but yeah I don't know what this chest will be after that this is the miscellaneous type of items where I have the different various things up here are just things that I've enchanted to make sure that my level 30 enchantment is a useful one and like other things this is like a sand chest I've got wool I've got various building blocks but for now there's only snow in there I've got charcoal because I really love charcoal as a fuel source and it's really easy to get because honestly my wood situation I'm able to gather up tons of spruce wood that you can see here I accidentally gathered up too much because the note blocks to build the second story uh, take up a lot of wood but not nearly as much wood as I gathered I just went ham on that anyway we've got various redstone things we've got glass we've got the valuables which is like iron and stuff and also whenever I want to actually go to the nether I replace my bow and arrow with like my normal stuff you know it's like I just got all that here I'll reorganize that and there's also saplings all the way down here right past the wood because all of this area is just like various tree things but yeah that's pretty much how this thing is organized and I really enjoy it now all we got to do to finish off this story is to do the roof because I've already set up my room over here I've got my double bed it used to be a single but now that we actually have a proper room we have our double bed we got our emergency armor equipper if we ever run into trouble and need to immediately put on some armor and then I also got these different items to put immediately into the hot bar so that if I'm in danger I'm able to have my bow ready I'm able to have an iron sword I'm able to have iron tools I got blocks if I need to pile up I got food a stack of arrows and a stack of torches you know I've also got a water bucket in case I want to like drop it down a really long distance and still survive it because water buckets are really good for that or maybe if I'm in a situation with a bunch of lava either way a water bucket's just good to have on you and I also got my jukebox over here which <laughs> looking at it kind of blends in with the note block now doesn't it but yeah I've only got one music disc but hopefully we'll be able to get more in the future but for now we just gotta finish this thing off by actually adding a proper roof because at the moment the roof is a bit flat unfortunately I'm not able to get rid of the snow at this moment so this is pretty much the best view I can get of the house right now and like right in between two little parts of snow honestly I don't get how this makes sense but you know you're able to see the roof fine I, I think that it looks nice it, it's like uh, it's not very visible when you're downhill like uh, it just looks kind of flattish but I still kinda like the look of it it's like I'm not sure how to improve it so this is what the final look of the house is gonna be it's like it's gonna have the first story got the second story and now it's got a nice little roof so we've accomplished two things with uh, finishing off the house and that is to create a storage system right at the second story of the house and we've also well created the second story of the house it has my bedroom in it and 
it's all nice over there. So now we are able to burn those two papers and now we are pretty much done with what we were going to do in reconstruction today. The sun is setting on another Minecraft day and no we are actually not returned from a mining session this time because I completely ran out of time for this episode and for the fact that pretty much we spent a lot of time on reconstruction and that the mining session would just drag out the episode a little bit longer so instead of doing that we are just going to watch the sunset and say that we have made tons of progress today we have been able to create our house uh, like finish our house basically like have it to actually have two stories we you can't really see it but we did create the underside of the iron farm over there so that now you can just afk in that space and you don't have to worry about any of the roses or whatever they're called the poppies that also drop from the iron golems because those get sorted out we've done like we've at the beginning of the episode I like, almost completely forgot about it. we cleaned up the villager breeder that was to make the iron farm and yeah we just did a lot today that needed to be done but never actually was so yeah now is the time when the episode actually ends oh that was such a pleasant view anyway I will see you all in the next episode bye Thank <laughs> you.